guys, it's Sam. I just got done at the D-backs game. We beat the Rockies 7-3, uh, and it's the 4th of July, so there was also fireworks. I'm going to try to insert all my Snapchat clips right here so you guys can see them. Uh, you can see some clips from the game, and then also the amazing uh, fireworks spectacular that happened afterwards. Right now we're sitting in the parking lot. We parked on level 5, and there are a lot of other people also trying to leave at the same time we are. There's 42,000 people that attended this game, and uh, we've been waiting in the car for like five minutes and we haven't moved, and we're just sitting here on level five. Tons of people uh, that are just sitting here. Uh, and so I'm gonna kind of check in occasionally with you guys, uh, just to kind of give myself something to do over the next half an hour or longer that we could be in here. So I'll see you guys in a couple minutes. Hope you liked the clips from the Diamondbacks game and also the fireworks. It's now 11:32, uh, four minutes since I last talked to you guys. And I'm still super bored, uh, still just chilling in the car. The uh, person in front of us is doing some sort of shadow puppets with their hand uh, <laughs> through the window of the car. We haven't moved. Uh, still in the same spot. Let's see, just chilling in the parking lot after the DVAX game on the 4th of July because America and uh, yeah so we're just having some fun in the car listening to some music uh, hopefully I got you. I got you. 
Hopefully I won't get any copyright strikes for this music. We'll see. I also don't know how much you guys will be able to hear me over this music because uh, I don't know how loud it's going to sound. But we'll see. So who cares really? It's the 4th of July. Uh, and I'm just sitting in a parking lot. 11.32. Um, 104 degrees outside because we're in Arizona. And Arizona thinks that even at nighttime it has to be 104 degrees outside. Luckily, on Monday morning, it's supposed to be 86 at about 6 o'clock in the morning, so I might just have to get up and go outside. The person in front of us is now deciding to back up and take a different route because they think that's going to work out better for them, which I doubt. And now we should probably move up, I think. No, they decided to park, actually. Alright, so the, the space formerly held by the white Honda Accord has now been filled by a silvery gray Honda. Maybe it's a Taurus, I don't know. Uh, and the Honda, the Hyundai over there has actually decided to come to life and turn their lights on. And the Honda Accord owners are now getting out of their car once again. And they might, oh, they have a kid too. And- I'm about to go to the bathroom. Uh, yeah, he probably has to go to the bathroom, so we'll see. We'll see, they're going somewhere. And then also, so is this uh, other two people I don't know what's happening. So as you can see on the right is the people from the Honda Accord and then those other two people also might have to use the bathroom, we don't know for sure. But yeah, we can see the silver Honda, Honda has taken over the spot. Um, there's a line to enter um, where we kind of are right now. A line to enter our line. Uh, a bunch of lines merging into each other at this moment. It's 11.34, I'm still here. Hope you guys are doing better than I am because I'm just sitting in a parking garage. See you guys it's later. It's 11.35 guys, and we see movement. There are cars moving just in front of us. Everyone is getting really excited. I can hear the screams of, of sheer joy coming from all the cars around us. Hopefully, we'll be home by the 6th of July. It's July 4th right now, Independence Day here in America. And we're still in a parking lot. See you guys soon. What's up guys? It is now 11.37. Starting at 11.40, I'm gonna do check-ins with you guys every five minutes or so, unless something really exciting happens. Like right now, we're moving along with the Honda Civic, along with every other car in this garage, we are moving along. There's Chevys, there's uh, pretty much any kind of car you can think of. We got it here in the D-Backs parking lot after the July 4th ball game. We'll see What's guys. up guys? So we are now out of the parking garage. It's 1145 driving down Central. We're at Central and Madison right now. Uh, so we're still heavily deep into downtown Phoenix. If I turn my head to the right, I can still see the stadium. Uh, I can see Bank of America building and I can see the tallest building in Arizona, the Chase Tower uh, here in downtown Phoenix. And I'm really excited, really, just for the Residence Inn and Courtyard by Marriott to open in 2016. That's what I've been waiting for my whole life, is the Residence Inn and Courtyard by Marriott to open in 2016. Right near the stadium, right near everything, really, in downtown Phoenix. So if you're coming to downtown Phoenix in 2016, look out for the Residence Inn and Courtyard by Marriott, right here at Madison and Central. Uh, I will talk to you guys a bit later. I'm just gonna keep driving down Central right now. We're now at Central and Jefferson, uh, passing Grab a Green, uh, Lures City Center, and some fun sushi bars. And uh, I will talk to you guys in a couple moments probably. I'm gonna say goodbye right now, but in a couple moments I'll probably say, what's up guys? What's up, guys? So we'll see. What's Good. up guys? Uh, it's Sam again, it's 1148. I know I just said goodbye to you, but I'm saying what's up guys once again. Uh, we're at Central and Adams now. It's been three minutes and we've gone about two blocks. Um, there are still a lot of cars here in downtown Phoenix for the time that it is. It's 11.48 p.m. Passing the San Carlos and Central and Monroe. We got Subway, we got a deli. We got tons of fun options here in downtown Phoenix for you to explore if you come down here. Passing the Chase Tower on my right. I feel like I'm playing Cash Cab right now. I'm like giving a tour of downtown Phoenix for you guys. Uh, we got the Westin, I can see 12 News, I can see um, tons of stuff. We're now at Polk and Central. Um, coming up to the post office, 
and the light rail runs right next to us here on Central. Um, pretty fun. We got crosswalks. We got Mid First Bank. We got the Walter Cronkite School of Journalism at ASU. One of the best schools of journalism in the country, actually. Um, and this downtown ASU campus is actually pretty cool. I enjoy coming down here and just walking around. I don't do it very often, but when I do, I enjoy my time here. Um, ASU has done a fantastic job here with their downtown campus, um, creating a very modern atmosphere for uh, students and teachers. Um, yeah, still just driving down Central. I'm still really bored. It's 11.50, passing Central and McKinley. Many of you who are watching this will probably be wondering why I'm still recording this vlog. And really it's because I decided to start vlogging while we were in that parking garage. And if I had stopped with just the parking garage content, I probably would have about a minute and a half length vlog. And that's simply not enough for you guys. I feel like I have to deliver more uh, to you guys. Now at Roosevelt and Central, um, last night was First Friday, once again here in downtown Phoenix. And that happens um, between First Street and 7th Street on Roosevelt and is one of the most interesting art events in Phoenix. We're now going to be passing the Burden Bar Library on my right. And Burden Bar is the main central Phoenix and greater Phoenix area library. Uh, it's about five stories tall and has a ton of books and also provides easy access to Central and the light rail even stops right next to it. So you could take the light rail and get off right at the Burden Bar Library. The stop would be, I don't even know what the stop would be called, probably something on Central. So maybe Central McDowell, because we're at McDowell now. Uh, we're passing another CBS here. We got the Art Museum coming up. Central is really the hub uh, and the center of downtown Phoenix and if you're coming to downtown Phoenix make sure you just take a ride down Central. You'll pass the Art Museum, the Arizona Art Opera, and even the Heard Museum if you keep going. There have been many spectacular firework presentations today. One of them I saw at Chase Field and then the other one is down Central at Central and Indian School at the Steel Indian School Park and they have their own fireworks spectacular going on there. It's been a great 4th of July, it's 11.52, and I'm still in a car. See you guys later, bye. Vlog out! <sighs> okay, as my dad just said, vlog out. This vlog is gonna be over very shortly. I'm done uh, with my part of the gig. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, make sure to like and share this video. Um, it would mean a lot to me if you did that. And then also, um, make sure to subscribe if you haven't. Um, we're kind of climbing up the numbers in subscribers. Started off a couple weeks ago, we had about four. Now we're up to 14. So who knows? We could be at 50 next week. We could be at 500 next week. We could even be at 500 million next week. It would blow my mind if we got to 500 million next week because people like PewDiePie are still uh, under 50 million. But if I got to 500 million faster than PewDiePie, we'd be making pr And on July 4th, I say goodbye to you, I bid you adieu, as I pass the seed spot offices on Central and Thomas. See you guys later, bye bye.